the dynamic duo, Paul and Phil, and again, another fantastic call by you guys. You must love the Tour de France, especially now that an Australian has won it. Oh, I think it was brilliant. You know, Cadell did everything right this year. You know, he looked never in any difficulty at all. Whenever it looks as if the race was going against him, he or the team pulled it all back together. And I think he won it on the stage to Le Galibier, which was an incredibly, for me, that was a legendary stage. Well, Phil, you spend so much time in Australia every year, every January virtually. You're almost Australian, and, and there are so many Australians that have listened to the sultry sounds of Phil Liggett th through the years. You must be very proud of Cadell. It's, it's absolutely wonderful to come and call him as winner of the Tour de France. I had the great pleasure of calling him as the world champion a couple of years ago. Now he's the winner of the Tour de France. It's, a, it's just, a, well, like for him, it's a dream come true for me too. A lot of Aussie fans over the back here. I've never seen so many Australians here. Unbelievable emotions for me, as particularly as a former professional cyclist myself. Also, the uh, the national anthem. They broke protocol and had the national anthem sung by Tina Arena. Apparently, she had a dream last night that she wanted to do this, and then rang the organisers this morning, and they said, "Yep, come on," and she sang it. How incredible is that? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. You've heard it many times commentating at the Olympic Games? I have many times, yes, especially on cycling events at the Olympic Games, but uh, she was quite clearly a superb singer, and you could tell it affected Cadell a little bit. But the riders will have a little bit of a break, some of them, a lot of them go straight back into racing anyway, but so, Paul, what, what will you do now after three weeks of commentating? Are you going to have a rest? Oh no, I'm on a plane back to Uganda tomorrow morning, nine o'clock, go via uh, Nairobi up to Entebbe, so I'll be back working down the mine. But I am, at the end of August, we are going to uh, the Tour of Colorado, and there's a little bit of a rumour that the Schleck brothers are going to go to ride the Tour of Colorado, and BMC have confirmed that they will go. So what about a rematch? Cadell Evans and the Schleck brothers in Colorado in the high mountains. That would be a good one. I think the, uh, the organiser, perhaps the Schleck brothers, might pay the organiser a little bit of money to make sure there's no time trial. <laughs> Yeah, well, that be the only way they're going to beat Cadell in the future. But, you know, going back to that time trial yesterday, I actually believe that, the, that Andy Schleck could probably hold Cadell in that individual time trial because when he raced against Contador a couple of years ago, he was able to hold him pretty closely. But as soon as Cadell came off that starting ramp, we both looked at each other and went, oh, blooming heck, this is going, mate. Well, look, congratulations to you guys. You do a great job every year here at the Tour de France. Well done. Looking forward to listening to you again next year. We'll see you next year. Are we coming back? Oh, well, all right then. All right. Well, we'll be back. Comedy duo. See you guys. <laughs>